Hello everyone and welcome back to DBS Holy shit man I was definitely not expecting to see Demon's Souls Remastered uh, Not Remastered, excuse me Excuse me Demon's Souls Remake in the PS5 event Now here's the thing We do know that there was a rumor that Demon's Souls was being made <clears throat> It turned out to be true However, I wish I was live streaming or like someone caught me while i when my when they announced with the when the music just hit and they're like it's like oh, oh, and I, I was like what ah and i started screaming and i start like i literally shut my pants i creamed my my jeans but i wish i had that recorded and i would never uh, it was like a lost opportunity there but anyways guys guys demon souls remake by blue blue point games is coming out on PS5. Now, to me, that's enough for me to buy a PS5. That's that's more than enough for me. Now, I need to take a breath here. Let's take a, like a take a second. Let's take. Whew, okay, all right. Now, for you, for those who don't know, I was the f uh, one of those guys who started the gate the series of of the Soulsborn on Demon Souls. I bought the game at launch, US. I got the special, the special limited edition version. I was one of the first people who, who got the platinum trophy. And I was one of the first persons to actually win the first trophy in the game, which is the, uh, the phalanx. If you see the time, I got it like the same day. And uh, I'll try to get the, I think I got it like the, the day, day one. It was like June or sorry, it was August of oh, 2009. Sorry, 2009. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is that this is my first experience with the Soulsborne series. I'm an OG and that's something I, I know, like I, I, I carry with a, like a badge of honor. It was the first ever PlayStation game that I've ever platinumed. And I spent hundreds of hours on PvP back when PvP was still in its infancy, back when people didn't know what ravioli step was, what was backstab cancelling, what is estus cancelling, what is animation cancelling, roll backstabs, all that stuff, you know? We were discovering it together as a community on GameFAQs or game FAQs, and <clears throat> man, I played that game for at least 1,000 hours, at least. I replayed it a hundred times, I made hundreds of builds, and... I was sad to see when they announced that the online was going to be uh, stopped. There will be stop. Uh, it will stop the support for online. Uh, Atlas, for what it's worth, did it's a good a good job with it. They actually did like events on World Tendency, like on Halloween, it, everything would be on Dark Tendency, and and Valentine's Day it would be pure white, pure uh, pure white uh, World Tendency. So they they had a community going, community events, and that's sadly missing in Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And um, I'm psyched now. Now let's talk. Let's talk stuff right now. Okay, some people are not happy with the art style. Guys, please understand. This is a remake, a reimagining. This is something brand new. It is not the same game. If you, all you wanted was the same game with 60 FPS and just a little, maybe an upscale to 1080p. Okay, then th they would just call it Demon Souls Remastered, just like Dark Souls. It was basically the exact same game with the same glitches and the same everything. The only thing was it had 60 FPS and a higher resolution. That's not a remaster. This is not a remaster. This is a remake. I, for one, think it's pretty dark and atmospheric. I think it looks good. I don't think we should worry. There's also some screenshots that have been released. And if you see the screenshots, it looks fantastic. I believe this is from the, uh, in the starting area, the, the tutorial area. That's what I think. Some people are saying, oh, the enemies look generic. Oh, there's too much color. Guys, this is a reimagining. And I think it's gonna, it looks really nice. I think it looks beautiful. I think you guys already, I know, I know a lot of people in the community are already like discrediting it and like not happy guys please anything to do with souls is uh, is good news even <clears throat> the uh, we were all waiting for elden ring this is amazing i can't wait 
First of all, it gives my channel something to do, first of all. More PvP, I hope that things get better. We're going to talk about that in a sec. So don't worry about the art style. It looks really like the, the, the graphics pop out. Like, I like the reimagining. The Demon Souls had a dark setting, but it was also more high fantasy uh, than it is dark fantasy. So um, it was a bleak world and a dark world, but the like th themes and like the armor sets and stuff, it was very high fantasy. So I think this is perfect. Now, let's talk about what needs to be done. First of all, of course, we're not going to talk about the obvious like 60 FPS and great graphics. But what they need to do with Demon Souls in particular, please, blue point, please remove item burden. This is <coughs> the number one thing that needs to be done. Remove item burden. Item burden, basically, you had a certain level or capacity to carry. After that capacity, you could not carry any more things. That is atrocious, especially when you're in a game where you don't know what is going to come against you and you need to have all your things prepared. Imagine you had to, you had limited inventory in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. That's atrocious and um, I, that has to go. Now, another thing that has to go is grass farming. Now, um, everyone knows by now that in Demon's Souls there was a duplication glitch and that's what made everything easier. You can basically <coughs> uh, duplicate any consumable item or upgrade item. But now since obviously they're going to take all these bugs out. Guys, we do not want to farm grass. And in Demon's Souls original, you had four or five different kinds of grass. You had crescent moon grass, you had uh, half moon grass, late moon grass, full moon grass, new moon grass, and dark new grass. So... Please, we don't want five different types of heals, okay? Or, or, hear me out here, you could make an Estus system, a grass system, but with Estus style. You start out and you can upgrade. This will be amazing. Please do not add infinite life gem style of Dark Souls 2 alongside the Estus. Try to make a good management. I don't want to spend my time farming healing items, please. I remember how hard it was to go to do that in Demon's Souls before I found the duplication glitch. Basically, spawn, kill, go back to the Nexus. So, nah, okay? So no farming of healing items. Two, uh, th that's two. Three, by the way, I'm very excited about this. So, so take a, take a, <laughs> let's take a breath here. Whew, okay. Now, number three, what needs to be done? Simplify the upgrade system. The upgrade system in Demon's Souls was terrible and super convoluted you had to upgrade your weapon to a certain level and then you had of each level for example let's just let's say you want to build a strength build so and you want to use a claymore okay so first you have to upgrade your claymore to a plus seven if i'm not mistaken and after that you have to upgrade it with a certain blacksmith and then to get it to up, uh, let's say you wanted uh, strength, uh, uh, the strength build, so you had to get uh, Greystone. Greystone is the same uh, concept as uh, heavy gems, so it boosts your strength uh, scaling. You had to get three different types of Greystone. You had the standard shards, chunks, and pure. And again, that's more farming. Now imagine you had to do that for the, the dexterity build, which is, everyone probably knows by now, the atrocious, rare, pure blade stone, which is the dexterity path upgrade. We had to farm the black katana skeleton in 4-2 hundreds of times. They had like a 0.01% drop rate, and that was like the hardest item to farm in the game. We don't want to do that. We don't want, and you had two different magic types, and you had a fire type. And you had blessed, the miracle type. Each of these had three different types of shards or stones. So please simplify it like the Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne way. That way you don't have to waste time farming. Again, simplify. Number four, crystal lizards. The crystal lizards originated in this game. However, unlike Dark Souls and Bloodborne, <coughs> the crystal lizards in Demon's Souls were finite 
And if they ran away, they're gone. If you don't catch them the first time. And they only respawn after you kill the boss. So technically, you only had a couple of tries to get these crystal lizards. Please don't do that. Please let them be respawnable. If, you, for example, you miss it and it runs away. You just simply restart the game and it's there. Please. Second of all, please do it like Dark Souls. When they die, you automatically get the item. Because I God knows how many times the crystal lizards fall off of ledges and I never could pick up the item and the thing is gone. Thank you. Now, um, another thing, maybe just balance out some things. Because in Demon Souls, original, magic was extremely overpowered. You could blast through the entire game with magic easily. They have to manage, they have to balance it somehow. Uh, now, let's move on to multiplayer. Uh, PvP is pretty much like Demon's uh, Dark Souls 1. It's the same, exactly the same. The only difference is, is that, um, well, there's not really much difference. Um, they're all the same. In uh, Demon's Souls, basically, whoever got the backstab wins. So you got to think of something else. Do it like the Dark Souls uh, 2 or 3 or Bloodborne, like the two-step confirmation or a fully charged attack. I don't know. So that has to the PvP has to man it has to be balanced and fixed almost like Dark Souls 3. Please, thank you. Now, finally, well, that's all I got on the top of my head. I know that they might, and I hope they do, they add the 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 cut uh, level that was not in the final game, the sixth archstone with the land of the giants. It seems they're gonna do it because. They have the, the Frost World. So please, please, Bluepoint, don't disappoint. Make this a launch title. I guarantee this will sell systems. People are excited. I'm excited. What about you? What do you think? Let me know. And uh, I hope you guys are safe. I have some videos coming up, but I've just been swamped with work after the lockdown. So I'll be back in the groove. Don't worry. But I hope you enjoy this. And... Let's hype Demon Souls together and hopefully we'll get some Elden Ring news as well. Peace. Cheers.